What is A2 milk and why should I drink it instead of regular milk? A2 milk differs from standard milk because of its beta casein protein. The two major proteins in milk are casein and whey. Casein accounts for about 82% of the protein in milk. There are also different types of casein. Beta casein makes up about 30% of the total proteins in cow's milk. A1 and A2 are two of the most common variants of beta casein. Beta casein is made of a string of 209 amino acids. At position 67 of the protein chain, A1 milk has a histidine amino acid and A2 milk has a proline. The proline binds very tightly to the amino acids on either side of it, whereas the histidine does not. When A1 beta casein is hydrolyzed in the intestines, a string of seven amino acids is liberated, creating a small peptide called beta caselmorphine 7 or BMC7. A2 milk does not create the BMC7 peptide. Now, many customers ask us how A1 and A2 beta casein affect the body differently. The problems associated with regular milk are due to this little protein piece, BCM7. Rat studies have clearly demonstrated that BCM7 causes inflammatory immune responses. Research is showing that chronic inflammation may be the common factor in many human diseases. So, let's talk about how A1 milk may contribute to chronic inflammation. Okay, so exposure to lectins such as gluten and BCM7 from A1 milk are believed to weaken the tight junctions in the, of the intestinal lining, leading to leaky gut. This allows small pieces of undigested proteins such as BCM7, as well as bacteria, yeast, etc., to enter the bloodstream. This may then lead to systemic inflammation throughout the body, especially in those with certain immune deficiencies. This systemic inflammation may affect people differently. For example, one of our clients had been drinking raw milk in California for years, but it was not A2. He was at the level of maturity that he had been experiencing prostate inflammation, which would cause him to get up multiple times throughout the night to urinate. When he switched to our A2 milk, he noticed that he was no longer getting up at all through the night. Perhaps this was a coincidence, but he personally felt they were directly correlated. A 2015 article in the journal Critical Reviews in Food Science and Nutrition states, In recent years, epidemiological evidence has indicated that consumption of milk containing the A1 variant is linked to increased risk of type 1 diabetes and heart disease. The European Food Safety Authority concluded there was insufficient data to determine a causal relationship between BCM7 exposure and non-communicable diseases. Nevertheless, the presence of these peptides in dairy products needs further research due to their putative link to elevated chronic disease risk. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease characterized by chronic pancreatic islet inflammation. Sustained low levels of inflammation irritate your blood vessels. Inflammation may promote the growth of plaques, loosened plaque in the arteries, and sugar blood clots, the primary cause of heart attacks and strokes. It makes sense to postulate that BCM7, which is known to cause inflammation and can be found in the bloodstream, having escaped the gut, could be a contributing factor to systemic inflammation and hence contribute to a variety of diseases connected to chronic inflammation. Additional research indicates that people who have thought themselves to be lactose intolerant find that their symptoms decrease or disappear when they switch to A2 milk. A human trial published in 2016 studied 45 subjects who participated in a double-blind, randomized, 2x2 two -two crossover trial. They discovered that based on the gastrointestinal effects of BCM7, it is possible that intolerance to dairy products in some cases is related to the consumption of A1 beta casein rather than lactose per se. The same study also concluded that the consumption of milk containing A1 beta casein was associated with increased gastrointestinal inflammation, worsening of PD3 or post-dairy digestive discomfort symptoms, delayed transit, and decreased cognitive processing speed and accuracy. The decreased cognitive capacity is very interesting because another aspect of how BCM7 affects the body is that it is bioactive, including opioid activity. The term opioid is used for substances having morphine-like activity that act by binding to opioid receptors. Opioid substances are found in the central nervous system and the gastrointestinal tract. These peptides play a crucial role in the response to pain and stress. 
It is not uncommon for children with ADHD or autism spectrum disorders who have food intolerance testing done to be told that they have a milk intolerance or specifically a casein intolerance. They are often encouraged to remove dairy from their diet. There are many stories of parents who have removed dairy from their children's diets, resulting in a reduction in their ADHD or autism symptoms. Some of these parents have discovered that if they replace standard dairy with A2 dairy into the child's diet, symptoms are also reduced. It is possible that this phenomenon is related to a combination of inflammation caused by the BCM7 and that it fills opiate receptors in the child's brain and gut. We have a friend whose child was about five years old, but she could not count to 10 without mixing up the numbers. She tested positive for a casein intolerance, and so they removed dairy from her diet. And amazingly, she could soon count to 10 perfectly. But as their family didn't stick to that dairy-free diet very long, she began consuming dairy again. Shortly thereafter, once again, she could not count to 10. This happened on a couple of different occasions as their family cycled through dairy-free dieting. Their daughter kept sneaking cheese from the family fridge. We made some A2 cheese for them to give her instead. They noted that even though the cheese was delicious, their daughter continued to crave the other cheeses. And our cheese did not satisfy her. It was as if she was literally going through opiate withdrawals and the A2 cheese did not have the opioid effect that standard cheese did.